So let's talk about a few of your your three rows this year. Let's kick off with um, Urban Icon. He's a, a forty to one chance with Unibet um, for the two thousand guineas. Uh, two from two, um, Windsor and, and Salisbury. He's in the green and um, at the weekend. Is is that a possibility? Yeah, I think that's where we're going to go. He he's been working, you know, really really well um, physically. You know, he's he's awesome horse to look at. Tom Mark who rides him has been very pleased with him. He's been to Kempton. I've been really pleased with him. Tom tells me that he might he might like soft ground. Uh, I'm never sure, and I don't like finding out on the day like that that he he's not all right on it. So as long as the ground's not not desperately soft, that's where he's going to go. And we've been really pleased with his work. He won his races last year very easily. I mean, I think he was drawn one or two at Windsor, and still won four or five lengths pulling up at, at Windsor. You know, from a from a draw that is really gen on a general basis you, you can't win from. So he's definitely a horse we're excited about. And has he always shown you that he's, he's an animal oh, yeah. with a lot of ability? Yeah, he, he's always looked, you know, he's a very pleasing horse on the eye. He moves lovely. We decided to look after him after his second win. We bought him off Willie Carson, so we have to deal with him. He rings up quite a bit asking about him. Um, he, yeah, he's always been a little bit different. How different, I don't know. You don't know till you take these, these good horses on, but... He's a horse we're pretty excited about now. Is he a Guinea's horse? Is he a Jersey horse? Or is he a listed horse? You know, we'll, we're going to find out pretty soon. Boatron carries the colours of, of Midland Park Racing. Have got, of course, lots and lots of horses. We've been, been, been strong supporters. Uh, he's in the Greenham as well. Um, he's another big, big prize for, for, the, for the Guinness. But I thought he actually ran very well in the, um, in the lagger there, didn't he? He did. I, I was a little bit disappointed. He, he wasn't put in the race as, as much as I would like. You know, I think... I wasn't sure whether he'd get the mile, and we, he sort of rode him a little bit like we, we, didn't, we didn't know he'd get the mile. And we rode him to get it, and they got a bit of a run, and all we did was make ground going to the line. I think he's better than that. It's nobody's fault, um, and I think he'll run very well. If it turns up soft ground at, at Newbury, I think he'll like that. He obviously won his maiden there. He won the, the Denford Stakes there, listed race. He's very able to go out in front and keep up that, that cruising speed. He, he will run very well as, as well, I hope. He might have a one too. you never know. <laughs> We've got Walk in the Sand as well, um, who's in, the, who's in um, a conditioned race at Newby on Friday. Yeah. Is, is that where he may go? He, yeah, you? he is showing us that he wants a mile and a quarter. You know, he's in the Guineas and he's in a, a few other races, French Derby as well, but I think he wants a mile and a quarter. He looks really well. Probably looks a month ahead of any of the other horses in terms of his coat. And we've been really pleased with him and he won... A very nice race at Sandown, um, conditions race, and won that very well. Um, but I think he wants a mile and a quarter, and you know he's another exciting horse that we can have a look at at Newbury. Could be a very disappointing day or a very pleasing day at Newbury. But well, yeah, you have to get yourself. That's part of being a trainer, I suppose. And would you ever work these horses against each other? Or oh yeah, like? oh yeah. But that, you, you don't work them to the point of we need to know what's best you just they just do their exercise together to get fit to get ready to run so it's very hard to get it's like Canva Cliffs and Dick Turpin I mean they never really work together they're in separate you know four and a half miles apart from each other you didn't need to all they need to do the work is just to get them you know ready for the match and, and that's all let's talk a bit about um Watan um who's I know is a horse you've always thought a lot of he, he was impressive on his debut at Goodwood and, and Perhaps a little bit disappointed in a couple of runs after that, but I suppose he did bump into two Don Hot, who may have just been a bit too. <laughs> well, too I hot. saw him win his maiden, okay, and uh, then it was the group three sort of ten days or two, three weeks later. I thought, wow, well, you know, he did win his maiden well, that did win it well, and I don't think he beat a lot, and he's two Don Hot probably isn't that great. Let's take him on. He got that a little bit wrong. <laughs> I think he's the highest rated two year old, or he's the same rating as Frankel. Um, he didn't turn that day and he didn't settle. So he just slightly had a bee in his bonnet that day. So forgive him that run. He won well at Leicester the last time and he's been working fine. He's not a horse that takes a lot of work because he's quite light framed. But he's a horse with a lot of ability. I had him in at Chelmsford in the, in the conditions race, but I think we'll probably look at the Craven and uh, see how we go there. And of, of that quartet, Urban Icon, Boitron, Walk in the Sand and, and Watan, which is the one that you think has, has sort of improved more um, during the winter and, and has strengthened up into a 3 Well, I think Boitron, I think he's 107. He didn't need to improve that much. He's done very well. And the answer, being totally honest, we don't know until we get them out there 
and you know, we put the gun to their head and say, run as fast as you can. We don't ask them to do that at home, so we don't know. And th but we are going to find out, and that will be the interesting thing for everyone. Um, a horse like Beat Le Bon, I've always thought he's a good horse. He was a massive underachiever for me last year, I thought. He could be anything, handicap-wise, listed race, conditions race. I'm fairly sure he's a, he's a good horse. You know, Boitra and Watan, and yeah, they're all nice horses, but in terms of gauging their 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 climax of, of, of their rating, I, you know, I'd like to think they were all 110. You need to be 120 to win a guinea. saying that we won it last year with a fully rated 99. Oops. So they're, they're, they're four lovely horses, and, and we're going to find out. The answer is, I think they've all improved physically, um, but they'll need to be good horses for the, <laughs> to win these races we're aiming them at. Let's talk about Kuwait Currency as a horse. So I know you've always sort of thought a lot of. He yeah. perhaps bombed out on his first run at, at Newmarket, and I know he was quite well fancied, but he came out and won two nice races out oh, of that. He didn't beat a horse. He barely beat the ambulance that was following them at Newmarket. And I couldn't believe it. I thought, oh, I don't have many better than that. And he was last. And then he went to Lingfield the next time and won about eight lengths or something. So then he won the Stonehenge, which was very nice. You know, he deserved to do that. Perhaps at the end of the year, he might have just gone for one good race too many. But he's back now. I think he's well handicapped. Of 101, he goes to the free handicap. And I'd like to think he'd be very competitive. And he wants a mile. And I think some giving the ground. He might be a bit of a dark horse. He's done well physically. It is temperament-wise. For a breezer, he's a gentleman. You know, he's been very well produced by, by Blarney, which is where he came from. And we've been very happy with him literally since the day he came in. And he hasn't been a problem. Beat Le Bon, you've touched just briefly on again another horse that you've always thought the world of, and um, he's actually finished second in some some nice races, isn't he? And he's, you know, he's always sort of maintained a good level of form. He's in a handicap on on Friday at Newbury off off ninety six. Is that where you're? Well, we're thinking about it. Yeah, he's in there, and he's been in some nice races the following week at, at Newmarket. Don't really know yet. He hasn't needed anything since his last run. I'd like, you know, a big field that that's going to be. I'm not sure if that's the place to go, but he did run very well there in his maiden. I, you know, I wouldn't put you off backing him wherever he goes. I think he's, he's he, I think he's very good. Leroy, Leroy. He worked very well. I think he's in a race in France as well uh, next week. Um, he's worked very well just lately, and he sort of looks to me like a horse that's improved. So he, he'll run, run well wherever he goes. Let's talk about Well Done Fox. Well Done Fox, again, is a horse. He had a busy year last year. He won his two listed races, which was very pleasing for us. Ran very well in Windsor Castle. And then he was second in the Cornwallis and he went to the Breeders' Cup. And we, we were, um, we basically turned up very soft ground and we, um, and he didn't, he didn't go on it. And, but we were already there, so we sort of had to let him go. He's a lot better than that. And he's in the group one at, at, um, Royal Ascot and the Duke of York. Very fast horse, very honest. Big year for him, hopefully. It's going to be hard because he's a three-year-old and I don't think he'll get further than six and he has a list of penalties. So he's going to need to have improved, but he's, I, I'm sure he's able for it. Let's talk about Fox Champion. Around a super race. He would have needed that and he did it the hard way. He carried a penalty. He made the running. The other sat in and got a lovely lead off him. And he did well, stick his neck out and win. And he'll go on from that. Where we're we going to go from here, I don't know yet. There's a conditions race next week at Newmarket. Um, he might be a Britannia horse, he might be a Jersey horse, but pretty good horse, I think.